The city of Newcastle, founded as a penal colony in 1804, Australia's third oldest city after Sydney and Hobart. These days little is left of Newcastle's convict past, but now modern technology is opening a window into that lost world. These are some of the latest images from the work of architect Charles Martin and his 3D virtual Newcastle project created with the Coal River Working Party. Charles has created a virtual model of the city as it appeared in the early 1800s, with buildings based on contemporary sketches and paintings, and locations plotted by blending period survey maps and modern satellite imagery. Now the world's largest coal exporting port, Coal was first reported here in 1797 by Lieutenant John Shortland while he was chasing convicts that had escaped from Sydney. That discovery and his report of a fine deep water river port led to the establishment of a camp called Kingstown in 1801. Coal from this camp formed the colony of New South Wales' first export. That first camp closed in 1802, but two years later a second settlement was established, this time called Coal River and designed as a place of secondary punishment for hardened convicts. Despite the picturesque nature of the green fields in the model, it was a harsh world for the settlement's thousand or so convicts, who faced the dangerous task of digging coal and labouring at the lumberyard. The cedar trees that originally lined the riverside around the settlement were cleared within a few years, and later large trees were felled further upriver and floated down to the lumberyard. These days we think of Hunter Street as the main drag, but in convict times Watt Street was where it was at. With a lumber yard and wharf at the river end, Watt Street stretched up the hill to Church Street, where the governor's house stood. Another major building now in the model includes the jail, which overlooked Newcastle Beach. These higher resolution stills show the level of detail that Charles's model can potentially generate. European settlement changed the landscape from the outset. One of the original approaches to the port was via a channel running in front of Signal Hill, where Fort Scratchley now stands. Surrounded by treacherous shoals, many a skipper's misjudgment ended in tragedy on the rocks. Convict labour was used to build Macquarie Pier, using stone hewn from the cliff around Signal Hill, and after many natural catastrophes and rebuilds, it eventually joined Nobbies to the mainland in 1846. In the decades that followed, sand deposited along the break wall to create Nobbies Beach. Nobby's Island itself was reshaped in the process, with metres being carved off the top of it to contribute stone for the break wall. So uh, this is basically what I've done. A, to get the topography of Newcastle uh, correct, uh, as it would have been at the time, and then to overlay the information that we do know about Newcastle that can be derived from the paintings such as Lysad, um and other artists of the day, Preston, um, Edward Close, to name two others, uh, and also some map makers, uh, particularly Armstrong and uh, earlier Meehan, um, all uh, helped sort of uh, paint a picture. 